Here in Antakya, families have been forced to leave seeking refuge elsewhere. But for those who've stayed behind, they're relying on the generosity of others across the globe. But the reality is these people still have, have no homes, no, um, many of them no jobs because their business has collapsed. So um, the effect is not only just that people have lost their homes, but they now have no means to even provide for their family. There were four of us in the room, my husband and I and our children. My husband died and so did my son. Trapped under the rubble for more than 130 hours, Turkan is alive to tell her story of survival and face the reality of loss. I need a helper and a home. I have nothing. With no son alive to work, I have nothing. I need help. We need electricity, water, a bathroom, kitchen. Nedjla Adahan recalls running out of her home, not being able to stand, and holding her family for what she thought was the last time. If I explain the story, I will cry. It was like the apocalypse. Before receiving temporary housing, Nedjla and her family survived in this pigeon coop with roughly 10 others lighting fires to keep warm. Now it serves as their washroom since their home is too dangerous to enter. Operation Blessing arrived shortly after the first earthquake hit last month. The plan is to stay for at least six months feeding, loving, and helping the people of Turkey any way they can. We have our, our major stock is in food boxes that contain uh, kind of your basic commodities of, of rice, oil, beans, flour, sugar. But we're also starting to hopefully purchase bulk items um, as well as we have hygiene kits. So we're purchasing a lot of hygiene items. Our goal is never to, to push people upon what we believe, um, but rather to show them what Jesus' love looks like and, and wait for an opportunity to then um, talk beyond that. OB coordinator Benjamin Britton knows disaster relief is often short-lived because stories often disappear quickly from the news cycle. That's why OB is here for the long haul. The need is, is I mean, astronomical. I've, I've never seen anything like it. Um, and, and to think that um, even us being here for six months will likely be one of the, the few at that point where we're really having an impact. Um, but it's not just about the, the, the physical impact, but about the, the spiritual impact. And, and, and not only just to those who don't know Jesus, uh, but even just being able to come alongside churches and encourage them and, and pray for them uh, and show them that they have people thousands of miles away uh, that care about them and are here to support them. That's, that's really the global church and that, that's what it's all about. Reporting in the Republic of Turkey, Brody Carter, CBN News.